back. I'm back. I know, right? Girl, where have you been? Where have you been? Girl, I have been wedding planning, okay? I have been in the trenches of wedding planning, trying to become Miss Parker. <laughs> hey, Miss Parker. <laughs> so, you guys, I've been having an amazing time wedding planning, and I wanted to share part of my process with you guys. So if that's something that you would be interested in seeing, then click that like button. Go ahead and share this video because right now it is wedding season. So many people are planning their weddings right now. So share this video with someone who you know is wedding planning and somebody that just likes these videos, okay? Just share the video, okay? Share it, like it, and y'all leave me a comment and let me know if this is something that you would like to see. I could do more uh, wedding planning videos because y'all when I tell you, it's a lot. It's a lot that goes into planning these weddings. And people spend a lot of money, okay? And and I'm I'm just not doing that. I'm just not doing that, okay? We're not doing that over here. We saving a coin, okay? So if you guys would like to see my process this far, then just keep watching. All right, you guys. So as of today, I'm 98 days out until my wedding. So a little more than three months until my wedding. And before I share some of my videos and some of the process that I did get a chance to film. I wanted to tell you guys a couple of things on my checklist that helped me. All right, so first things first, enjoy your engagement, okay? Give yourself some time to enjoy your engagement. Me and Brian did that. We took a couple of months <laughs> because I know the moment you get that ring on your finger, it's like the wheels start turning and you start thinking, oh, this is what I want. I would want this. I would want that. But you know what? Stop and just enjoy your engagement. Some people give it a month. Some people give it three months. Some people give it six months. Whatever you desire, give yourself time to just sit and enjoy your engagement, okay? I'm telling you, it makes a world of difference. And just talk about your engagement and live in that moment because it goes by so fast. So try to enjoy it and live in that moment. So the next thing that I did when it comes to wedding planning is I picked my date. Now, let me tell you, I wouldn't advise that, okay? I would not advise for you to pick your date before you pick a venue, which was the next thing that I done. And that's because if you find a venue that you fall in love with and that date is not available, you will be crushed. Now, as for us, when we got engaged and after enjoying our engagement for a while, we decided, all right, what time of year do we want to actually get married? Do we want to be engaged for a year? Do we want to be engaged for two years? Or do we want to go right into being married? And for us, the Lord told us, let's go ahead and let's do this thing, okay? Because we know that we are supposed to be one without a shadow of a doubt. The Lord has, he's given us every sign that we need. He has answered every prayer that we requested. So we know for sure that this is what God wants for us. We are under the will of the Lord. And so we went ahead and prayed about a date. And I really heard from the Lord when it came to our wedding date. And the Lord told me September because that was when we met for the first time, like literally face to face was in September. Um, my ring, it means so much to me. If you guys have not seen my engagement ring video and I break it all down and explain what my ring and my stone actually means to me, then I'll try to leave a card here. If not, there'll be a link in the description box where you can go and uh, watch that video. The, my ring stone means so much to me. And that stone is recognized in the month of September. And um, it, it just, September just holds a special meaning. Brian's birthday is in the month of September. And so that month just holds such a special meaning um, to us and to me. So when I actually prayed about it, I did hear the Lord say September. And I specifically heard him say September the 25th. And I just know for no reason I will be changing that date. For no reason. I Because I know that I heard from the Lord. And I know that that's what I heard clearly. So with us going ahead and solidifying that date. And then going out to look for a venue and all of our other uh, vendors. It's, it's been challenging. But I know that I heard from God. So I'm not giving in. And because I know that whatever route God is taking me in, it's going to be him and not us. Okay. So that's, that's what we chose to do. 
Now, I don't advise that. <laughs> I advise that you find the venue, not only that you find the venue, but you find a caterer. And if you're gonna have a ceremony and a reception and do these at separate places, at separate times, I advise that you do that first, okay? So once you, once you figure out what time of the year you would like to get married in, then find the venue and all of that and then solidify a date, okay? <laughs> That, I mean, because like I said, if you do it the other way around, it will be hard. I'm telling you, because we have had our fair shares of ups and downs. I mean, even in this vlog video that I will attach to the end, you will see that there was one reception space that I found. And once I went through the entire process, it was booked. They made a mistake and it was booked for that day already. So... I'm searching for a different reception area as we speak, okay? Well, my aunt, my aunt has stepped in and decided to um, help me with all of this. And I'm telling you, you're going to need a day of coordinator for the wedding. You're going to need someone to help you to coordinate it and bring it all together. So be that a wedding planner or be that someone who knows you and who prays with you and who loves you and who knows your heart and who knows your pocketbook, okay? I'm just saying, don't, don't trip with these people. Be honest. Be honest with yourself and be honest with them. You know what you can afford and don't go above it, okay? I'm just saying, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. I'll do it, okay? So the next thing that I did was I shopped for a dress. And let me tell you guys why. I shopped for a dress because to me, the dress sets the theme of the wedding. That's just my take on it. Now, other people may feel like you need the theme before you get the dress and all of that, but no, nah, uh-uh. For me, the dress set the theme. It's kind of like, I don't know, I think about that scene in Sex in the City when she was like, you know, she had went and she found this inexpensive dress um, at the Goodwill and she ended up getting a different dress and the dress kind of built the wedding. So when he asked, how did this wedding get out of hand? Like, how did it get to this point? And she said, it was the dress. It was the dress. <laughs> I think the dress sets the stage. So I went and I went dress shopping. You guys, let me tell you, hands down, the most amazing experience I have ever had in my life, seeing myself in a wedding dress was amazing. And I've been married before a couple of times. Okay, me and I'm talking about that. But I never, I've never been, um, I never went on dates. Um, I never had been in a courtship and I never been in an engagement. Like nobody ever got down on, you know, one knee and proposed to me. So this has been amazing. And I never wore a wedding dress. I've never had a wedding. So this is truly my first love. Like this is truly my first experience. And I feel like truly my first experience at being a wife and being in love and, and making all of these amazing memories. Like this is the first time. So putting on that wedding dress to me meant so much. Shopping for the dress with my mom um, and two of my cousins who I consider sisters because I don't have any sisters, but growing up, they were my sisters. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know any moments without them. They're my cousins, one on my dad's side, one on my mom's side. But um, I, I don't have any moments without them. None. I mean, none. I, my, when I had my babies, they were there. Like, I don't no moments. I don't have no moments without them. <laughs> so I couldn't, I could not have them, you know, there. So they were there helping me, you know, with my dress and you know, helping me pick it out and all of that. And it was, it was the most amazing experience. And when I left out of there and, you know, I told Brian, I found a dress, the way that he looked in my eyes and the way that I looked in his eyes. And we just talked about the whole, um, dress shopping process and how much it meant to me and just how happy and grateful I was. That was such a magical moment. It was right in the parking lot and I, I, I didn't see anybody else. It was just me and him. And it, I'm telling you, <laughs> it was an amazing moment. I'm about to cry just thinking about it, but just the joy that I felt that day. I felt so special and um, it was an amazing moment and I, I really lived in the moment. So yeah, wedding, dress shopping was the next thing that I did. I have photos, so I'll share the photos. I'm not gonna share my dress. 
Mm, no, mm -mm. we want everybody to be surprised. <laughs> so there will not be a, a picture of my dress, but I do have pictures and a little bit of video of the process for y'all to enjoy. So now that you have your venue, you have your date, you got your dress, girl, you got your dress. What's next? Food! Like, food is important, okay? <laughs> so for us, the next thing to plan was that caterer. We need to know what we eating. What are we eating? Because that's important. Brian was like, make me two plates. <laughs> and I was like, we got to have some mac and cheese. Okay, we need mac and cheese. Got to have mac and cheese. I don't care what everybody else is eating. I'm going to need some mac and cheese. <laughs> so that was very important to us. So we met up with our caterer. We spent a couple hours with her talking about how we wanted to see everything go. And, you know, just to get a flow of what it would look like you know, having them serve, you know, what they will be wearing, how the tables will be dressed, all of that. It was so fun. It, I had an amazing time, y'all. I got full. When I tell you I got full. And then just to hear all that goes into preparing the meal and preparing the drinks, you know, and how to dress all of that up and all of the tables. Y'all, it was so much fun. So I didn't get a lot of video because we really wanted to pay attention for one. We really wanted to make sure that we asked all the questions we needed to ask. Um, we needed the details and we wanted the details. So I didn't get a lot of video there, but I did get some, you know, Snapchat videos. So I will share that too. All right, you guys, I'm going to stop talking <laughs> and I'm going to share some of the videos that I have of us wedding planning this far. Enjoy. So you guys, I am super excited. We are at our wedding venue. So we came out here just to check the space out, to see how the flowers and stuff are booming, to see where we wanted to take photos, the day of our wedding. So we won't be walking all over the place and everything, just to get like a little idea of what it'll look like. They had a wedding that they were already setting up. So we kind of got to see what that would be like. So y'all, we are excited. We, it, it's coming along. It's coming along so fast. And I just wanted to let you guys in on just a little sneak of what things are gonna look like. We're gonna have what you call, or what you call a micro wedding. So there will only be 60 people here, um, but we will go live so that everybody can kind of share in our moment. So let's see what the venue looks like. Come on, y'all. So you guys, this is the space, y'all. It is so beautiful out here. We're out here at the Dallas Arboretum. And y'all, this is the walkway. This is where I will be walking to meet my future husband and the Lord to get married. Yeah. I'll be inside. So this is where the guests will be sitting along the side here. And I love, when I came here the first time, I fell in love with this um, arch and arbor. This is so pretty. So hopefully what we're praying for is that this will be semi-filled with flowers and then we can possibly fill it in with more flowers if need be. But this is where we will be standing, hopefully, if things turn out right and all of our guests will be surrounding us. There won't be that many people here, so it'll be perfect, intimate, and just what we want. Yo, look at how pretty it is. I absolutely love flowers. You guys know that. Y'all know I love my roses and all my full morals. So why not get married in the land of flowers? I'm excited to get married in the land of flowers. This is gonna be so gorgeous. I can just envision it now, y'all. I'm so ready. Every time I come up here to check out the space, I just get overwhelmed with joy and just gratefulness for what God is doing. So yeah, y'all. This is where I'm gonna get married. y'all there's my handsome groom <laughs> hey babe he's like back up back up back up so yeah y'all this is a beautiful area it's so pretty so peaceful and yeah cannot wait until september the 25th look how pretty this is and there are even more like there are other places around here that are even more beautiful but i just fell in love with this area so yeah it screams me so yeah time to taste some 
good wedding food. This is so nice. There's my guy. Hey, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> the set up. Can't wait to see what they've come up with. We are at the Grand Hall. And this is what it looks like. This is what the space looks like. Um, let's see. So if I take you, let me take you going outside. Okay, so this is the foyer. So this is where people would come in at. This is what the foyer looks like. So when you're walking in, this is what you walk into. And it's just a big open space. And that's a projector screen. So that projector screen could come down and the dance floor could be right here in the center. Tables on that side, tables on that side. The caterer would, could be up against this wall because there's a huge kitchen. Let me show that to you. So let's go, let's go. It's a huge space. Um, here's the kitchen. I'm not sure you'll need the kitchen but this there is one um but this is going back into the space so it's really lovely and since brian and i do TikTok videos and things like that all of that can be shown on the screen as you come in to the reception area and then outside is a beautiful space because there's a big man-made pond and there's a pavilion where people can go, take pictures and all of that good stuff. It's a beautiful, beautiful entry. So this is the building and this is what you can decorate. I'm thinking candles, um, vases, maybe even getting some chandeliers or something. I don't know, but um, yeah. I think you can do a lot with this space and I'm looking forward to it. All right, bye, Tyler.